Namaste viewers. So today we will discuss about sowing seeds. How do we do that? When do we do that? And most importantly, why we do that? So coming to the most important topic that is Anna, the food that strengthens the energy, the speed, the sight and the semen of the human. So in Vedas, different types of farmers have differently named according to the type of works they do. Like Karvasna that is the cultivator, Kinaha that is the farmer, Srapati that is the plumber, Vapa that is the sower, Dhanyat that is the sower of the paddy seeds and Idava the carrier of ripen corns or grains to a granary. Dhanvakta is referred to as the person who is the expert in sowing. So basically Gandharvas are known to be those farmers who cultivated barley and are concerned with winnowing which is mentioned in this phrase. So in the previous sections we have understood the Vedic Krishi, the preparation of soil, the importance of pluffing and irrigation methods. So basically all those were explained on how do we mention these in the Vedic text. In this section, we will go through the sowing activity through the Vedic methods. Sowing is one of the integrate processes of farming. Sowing helps plants to develop their roots as well as the shoot system. Development of healthy seedlings helps in having a good harvest for the farmer. Hence, the farmer must be very cautious and careful while carrying out this process. This phase from the Yajur Veda says that the primary livelihood of people is agriculture and for that you need to sow seeds in the agriculture field to order to generate harvest during that duration. They must be separated from the husk and other unwanted particles because it is believed that these particles can be very harmful for the crops. Uniform seeds are claimed to produce substantial harvest. Uniform seeds have the right amount of nutrition and also have almost the same sizes. So coming to the most important topic that is how do we handle and store the seeds. So Krishi Parashara narrates that the seeds must be kept in tight packets with soil and the grass should be cut out which are protruding from the packets from time to time as it comes out because they can lead to the growth of unwanted grass around the crop which can hinder the nutrition intake while growing. They are mentioned about the places where the seeds should be kept that is anthill, cow shed, place where a woman has given a birth to a child. The seeds also should not come in contact with ghee, buttermilk, oil lamp and salt. Hence, there are some of the precautions that were established by the Parashara to have a good yield for farmers. So now, what is the timing of sowing? The time of sowing seeds is very important. It has been mentioned in the best time is during the Vishaka that is the April and May month. The worst time is during the Bhadra that is the August and September month. Also it has been mentioned about different nakshatras in which the sowing of the seeds is considered to be best. It has been avoided and avo advised and there are two days of difference between sowing and transplantation. It is considered to be a sin to sow seeds in the duration between the month of Jeshta and the beginning of Asada as it is believed that during the time the earth, the mother earth is menstruating. So the menstruation of mother earth has been referred to as the advent of monsoon. In Odisha this is celebrated as a festival called Raja for three days and by the other names in the eastern coastal belt. This says that the cultivator should pray to the earth and the god Indra to bless them with seasonal rain and the right amount for the good yield. The farmers then together prepare delicious dishes out of ghee and payasa, a dish prepared by boiling milk, rice and sweet substance like sugar together. So after the sowing, they eat together as they believe that their further agriculture operations will be successful. 
This shows dependency on rainwater. But there are some texts that have tried to calculate the changes in the earth and the environment and hence considering these changes the farmers should carry out on the agriculture activity. So, leveling of the field before the sowing, that is also very important. Mention of the leveling the field has been given importance in the Vedic text. So, Mayaka, a ladder shaped instrument is used for leveling rice fields both before and after sowing of seeds. This helps in making the soil more conducive which can help in proper farming of the crops and provision of nutrition. Vidhaka is also a tool used in making furrows and loosening the soil which makes it easier for farmers to sow seeds. As it also helps in providing nutrition to seeds, removal of seeds and breaking of lump of soil is also very important before sowing the seeds and it is done by a tool called Kodala. Transplanting the saplings from nursery to field. So, Vedic texts have also given emphasis to the transplantation process. Seeds during the transplantation process are prone to transplantation shocks. The reason being the change in external and nutritional factors, of course. Cautious and extra care should be given to those sites while the process of transplantation will otherwise will lead to the destruction of the seedlings. There are certain advantages of transplantation process like their selection of healthy seedlings as well, better penetration of roots in the soil, promotes better development of shoot system, right spacing of the seedlings for availing sufficient water and other nutrition is very important. So Maharashi Parashar has suggested that the distance between two seedlings should be one cubit in Shravana, half cubit in Bhadra and four fingers apart in Ashwin. A cubit is the length standard which was followed during the Vedic period. So one cubit is more or less equal to the length of the forearm that is around 18 inches or 44 centimeters. So even in today's commercial farming practices, transplantation plays an important role. So it is evident that this process which was dictated by the sages in the Vedic text is quite a deal during the sowing procedure. So this was all for the, today's video. I'll be back with more videos. Till then, keep motivating us by liking, commenting the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel.